Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I've been trying to record this video, but karma has been all over the place. And I had to kind of like rein her in. She's wanting to get into trouble. Uh, she may or may not pop back up here. I don't know. But as you can see, my June Spellbinders um, Club um, kits arrived. Or subscriptions or whatever we want to call them. Or they're, they're clubs. And so we're, I'm going to share. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I did some exciting stuff today, but I'm going to share that at the end. It, it involves wood. <laughs> so if you're not into wood, then you may not care. But I'll talk about it. Uh, at the end. Anywho, um, again, if you're new, I am not sponsored. This is a subscription that I pay for, and it is one of the ones out there that I think is a good value. And I'll discuss prices again towards the end. I kind of mentioned it before in another video. I'm going to start with the Spellbinders. I think this is the card club. Um, what I, they have multiple clubs and the best value one is if you get, I think they call it like the whole shebang or the whole, the kit, whole kitten caboodle or whatever. And you actually get a really good, um, uh, price doing all of them versus just a few. Uh, it's almost like getting some of them for free, but that, that's just my opinion. Um, but we're going to start with this one because it's a lot of paper involved and then we can get into the dies and all that fun stuff. I have not taken a sneak peek except for this stamp set there. And let's get this opened. Y'all, seriously, you have no idea how I'm excited about the, what I did today as far as wood goes. I brief, briefly mentioned it before. I did go to a wood shop today. Seriously, I'm so excited. Okay. Anywho, as you can see, I have I just got this. It arrived. I have not looked at anything. Set that down here. I'm gonna start. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. I'm gonna start with these. So the papers on the bottom. Oh, well, I guess we just get a sneak peek of everything right there. How about that? Set this to the side. This uh, kit is themed Party Hat and Streamers. I think June is their birthday month. I think. Please don't quote me on that. Because uh, they have a sale going on on their website. But I wasn't really feeling it. So... But anyway, the card kit of the month is Party Hat and Streamers. As you can see, it does come with some dies. It comes, they do not discuss cardstock color. So there's 10 sheets of nine, no, no, there's nine pieces of cardstock. So we have a gold foil. And this is kind of, this is kind of like a metal. We have a blue green I guess we'll just say party colors An orange is that like a marigold <clears throat> pink really pink a black and a white so one two three four five six seven eight nine so there's the nine sheets of cardstock then we have 10 envelopes and card bases. I do like that the card base is kind of textured because y'all know I'm a textured junkie. This is smooth, so I mean, it's, so, it's not bad. Just not my favorite. It's got that. Um, let's look at the 6x6 paper pad. I was really excited about the last one, the, the May kit. Oh, that paper pad was so cute. Um... 
This paper is called, again, Party Hat and Streamers, and I do believe they are double-sided. Single-sided, so there we go. So now we have birthday candles, party balloons, and there's some gold foiling. Some stars, <clears throat> some hip hip hoorays, yay, it's a party. <clears throat> Sorry, we have like a distressed watercolor, like kind of like clouds. Some yellow with some hearts, rainbows and hearts, cakes, lots of cakes. Not feeling that. That reminds me of the 70s. <laughs> Happy me day. Some polka dots with gold foiling party flowers and there is some very faint uh, gold foiling on that too it's actually really pretty now we have it in the pink celebrate wonderful happiness special birthdays wishing you you can read it some frillies some Smiley faces, sunglasses, and like little party candy thingies, maybe. Some polka dots, and that's it. So that's a that's a cute little uh, paper pad. I I probably wouldn't pick it out on my own, but um, I can I can use that. Okay. We have um, what do they call these? Puffy. Puffy sentiments, so we have let's, okay, let's party, let's eat cake, birthday girl, wish big yay, congrats, yay, or just say yay and woohoo, and then we have like some little star confetti doohickeys, I really like those. Then we have some chipboard embellishments so celebrate beautiful wish big fun times loved omg happy b day and then we have this oh the little kitty with the balloon congrats hooray candles and cake birthday bestie start the party have an amazing birthday birthday girl and happy birthday so I really wish like they would sell these because I would buy more of this. This is, and this, these are great. Uh, we have party hats. Three-dimensional party hats. So those are super cute. I really actually like the color palette on this. Not quite feeling it here, but I am with the paper pad. As always, it comes with some foam dots and um, tear tape, adhesive tape. So if you're brand new to crafting, you have everything you need, minus the paper trimmer and your die cutting machine. Because uh, I believe, yes, they are dies in this um, club kit. <clears throat> we have sequins. They always include sequins that I've seen. We have dies. We'll discuss that in a minute. We have a stamp set. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but sending birthday hugs. Wonderful people deserve wonderful birthdays. Hey, birthday girl. Have a sprinkly confetti. Have, have a sprinkly confetti and rainbows kind of day. Woo, yay, birthday, happy birthday. Now we now wish like you mean it, your future looks bright. Uh, celebrate, and I wish I was there to celebrate with you. So that's a good little uh, stamp set there. And then we have uh, the die cut shapes. I'll pull a few out. There's just too many. Um, there's a lot. We have some flowers, balloons, party hats, hearts, stars, presents, uh, B-Day girl, some decorations, you know, maybe for the cards in 
Um, so this is like polka dots, like pink, green, and yellow. And then this has gold foiling polka dots on it. So you have different styles. Uh, flowers, flowers. We have a frame, a pennant, more flowers, party decorations, somebody woohooing and yipping. Um, so it's actually a pretty fun little set there. I'll put those down so that I can get those put away later and don't lose anything. And then the die set. And so I'm not going to pull it out. Looks like, no. Yeah, no, I'm not going to pull it out because everything is right here. So we have, um, the party hat, you can make it three-dimensional, so you have these tabs on the side, so you can put it down, and it'll kind of, like, pop up off the card. And then you have the fringe detail here, and then this one here, you kind of, you use kind of like quilling. You use a quilling tool, spin it up, and you got your little pom-pom for the top of the party hat. We have um, Make-A-Wish dies, and then we have three dies up here to make your flowers. All of that just in the um, card kit of the month for June. Yay! So leave that there. Oh, my leg is falling asleep. Uh, <clears throat> clear stamp. So let me find the mat. So this must be... No, oh, that's the glimmer. It's usually the small... I'm... Glimmer, small. So this, normally it's the small die of the month and the stamp that go together. Oh, here we go. Somehow I missed it. So um, it's the stamp. You can do the stamp of the month or you can do the stamp and die of the month. And... I love Paley's, pa Paley's, Paisley's. I always have. Um, quilting, I'd always get drawn to like fabrics with Paisley's, but you can only do so much you know, when you do that. Um, so we have some mandala-like items, some Paisley's here. We have Hello, Beyond Grateful, Sending Happy Thoughts Your Way, and Hope This Card Finds You Well. So just a great, hi, how are you, sentiments, basically. And then you have the dies to cut it all out, which I think is great. So these two are like the same size. You just need the one die. And then we have a word die for the hello and a word, day, word die for the uh, sending happy thoughts your way. So you can see everything better. Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Wow. Okay. Alrighty. So, that is the uh, clear stamp and die of the month. Again, this is June. The glimmer, following in the Paisley theme, um, it is called Paisley Glimmer. This is called Paisley Bouquet. So, we have this awesome glimmer plate here absolutely wonderful and then we have this uh, there are multiple sentiments so we have with gratitude forever friend and seize the day you know carpe diem and then we have the cutouts for the um the words as well and then with the glimmer plate uh, you have the dies if you want to cut these out individually so you can cut out the whole paisley which is this one, and then you have this die here that will actually cut out the inside part, so if you want to do layering, so that is pretty fabulous. And um, it also, with the Glimmer Club, um, you always get a roll of foil, and this is the rainbow. And I just bought some of these that was when they were on uh, a sale, they were in the last video I shared with y'all. So, got that. The small die of the month 
is pretty awesome. It's called Stylized Border Trio. There are nine dies. So these four dies here go together. So you have your base. Then you have this layer here that you can layer on top. And then these two, um, you can use them to cut out either one side of it. So you can cut it into like the edge of a card. Um, here they're like layering it, you know, like stacking them for like a color effect. Uh, this one is a real pretty uh, lattice work. It's got some like, um, this would make a really pretty like stained glass effect, I think. I really like that. And then we have some uh, more up here. And then both of these also come with coordinating dies if you want to actually cut out the whole piece or you can just cut it into uh, a panel and um, like my last video I will put links to each of the June um, YouTube videos from Spellbinder so you can actually go in and see everything cut out and how they're using them this I'm saving for last because it's just amazing uh, the large die of the month is called Paisley Dream. So again, doing more Paisley. Ab this is so pretty. Look at that. All lay all those pieces layer together to make this absolutely beautiful piece. And you don't have to double them up like that. You could just use one of them. Um, you could use them to make, you know, like, I don't know, a big pretty frame or something. So there is all of that. It's so pretty. And you got this great big old hello. And I would like cut out a bunch of these and stack them so it's like a 3D element, elephant, elephant, element on the front of the card. That's what I would do. You could also like make this like part of your your sentiment like a focus point on your card and because it's long enough uh, then you can uh, foil these cut them out and then pop them up off of this panel here um, they're using this where did they use it I saw it somewhere oh well but just some additional elements there more paisley fun there's no more paisley uh the next one this is like my least favorite part of it um just because i'm not a big fan of the size but i can use them um they have an embossing folder of the month to me i just consider this is kind of like one of the extras uh, and this is called botanical diamond it's actually kind of pretty but to me kind of eh there you go There's that. And this last one is probably my most, what I'm most excited about. Um, Spellbinders has smaller versions of these. And there were also um, like holiday versions of it. And this is called the... This is the APG die of the month, which is their Amazing Paper Grace. And I'm hoping, these are actually pretty big. But it's a pop-up. Tell me what you think that is. Look. Isn't that awesome? It's a pop-up. It's a 3D car. You can do the you can do the front and the back, which I just think's awesome. And you, oh, see, you don't have to use her with her arm up, and you don't have to put the veil on it. I, I'm really hoping I need to dig out my other uh, spellbinders 
and see if they fit or if they're too small um, for this. Uh, but I know that there are smaller dies out there. Um, but there's a there's a Halloween. The Halloween one is a skeleton and a witch. There's the 4th of July one of the patriotic, which is Uncle Sam and Lady Liberty. Uh, there's an Easter one with the Easter bunny and something else. Um, there's a Christmas one, and I think that one's a reindeer and Santa. I think I have them all. I'm going to have to go look. I'm not sure. But this, uh, basically I was excited about everything except for, you know, really the, the, the embossing folder. And I was kind of, you know, eh about the card um, club. But I, you know, looking at the card club, I think it was pretty fantastic. So, oh, this is just so awesome. Like I said, I'm going to put the links to each of the different club kits for you to check out. And, um, yeah. Again, not sponsored. Uh, you can either subscribe to just one. Or you can subscribe to all of them. Or you can subscribe to a few. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different options. But only, I guess, what, six months ago or so, they came out with, um, like, the whole kit and caboodle thing. That's what I call it. Anywho. So, yeah. So, there's all that. Now, on to my exciting adventures today which might extend in to tomorrow. So I'm recording this on Friday. I have decided I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and post this on Saturday. Well, yeah, that'd be right cuz I'm doing every other day. So on Saturday while y'all are watching this, I might be at a wood mill. So some of y'all know I'm redoing um, the spare bedroom or the, the other spare bedroom and it's going to be Coastal Farmhouse and I found a, a really beat up Singer sewing machine table. The top was like just trashed. And so, and, and, and the top was really bad. There's no saving it. <clears throat> and it's the price of wood is redonkulous. Anyway, I went today to, it's called Woodcraft here in San Antonio, and went there. I picked out two. Uh, so normally these tops are usually oak. Well, they don't have oak. Apparently they said it's hard to get here. So I bought two gorgeous pieces of black walnut. And I, you know, I'm not afraid to work with wood. Um, when I was in junior high, it was mandatory for the girls to take home ec and the guys to take shop. And I actually, I fought that, uh, one, because the home ec teacher, <laughs> her, no, my grandmother taught me how to sew, um, and she's excellent. And what she was teaching these kids to do was awful I mean, it was so bad that I, I actually went in there one day because there was a problem with the sewing machine and I fixed it. Keep in mind, this was 7th grade, 7th or 8th grade, and I went in and fixed it because nobody else could fix it. And um, I, my mom actually went to the principal and I was able to not take home ec and I took shop class. And I had so much fun in shop class. Anyway, so I, you know, I've worked with wood before. Um, we have some tools, but we don't have the tools that I want to do the project. So I need a planer. We don't have a planer. We don't have a space for one. And, um, yeah. So, um, I am taking the wood possibly tomorrow. I got a call for a quote. But... It, I might be going to the wood mill that the the woodcraft place I went to today recommended. And so I'll have them plane the wood so that both pieces are the same thickness. 
and then they'll square it off for me so that both link because they're 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 long so they'll square them off for me and then I'll come home and I do have a biscuit joiner <coughs> so they should be ready to go when we get home when I get home and I will uh, biscuit join my pieces it's going it's going to be either three pieces or four pieces wide so the the planks are 78 inches long and about 12 inches wide and so I'm cutting them both in half and I'm going to go ahead and uh, join them all together and then it'll probably be a little too big I'm not sure I'll have to determine that once I get to that point and then I'll get the router out route the edges and I am not restoring the table I am and I'm not I'm gonna clean up the base attach the new top that I'm making and I have the drawers the drawers I have to strip them all down and refinish them and I'm hoping I don't have a problem with that because again the drawers are made out of oak and the top is going to be black walnut so I'm gonna have to find the right dye uh, stain so that when I restain the drawers they match kind of the top and then it is going to become a side table or nightstand in the guest room so I'm really excited about that but I gotta tell you I was I was pleasantly shocked but still I, I knew when I went into the shop that um wood's not cheap if you buy good wood it's not cheap and so I <laughs> oh and I bought the veneer for the dresser I'm gonna redo too and um, so all together for the veneer and the two big old planks of black walnut I bought I spent 130 bucks today <laughs> just for the wood and uh, um, I went on line to the mill and their jobs start at $95 an hour but what I need done won't take a long time it's just I'm hoping it's $95 an hour for the milling so the sawmill part so where they're um, if I have them cut it I don't know well yeah I am because they're gonna um, square everything off for me but then the additional stuff so like the the planing the planing that starts at $95 an hour too so I don't know if it's going <laughs> to... I probably could have found an already refinished table. But... I, I like the idea of doing it myself. So anyway, so that's on the agenda. Then, like I said, I got the veneer um, for the dresser that I'm redoing. So I got to re-veneer the top of the dresser. Then there are a few... I'm actually shocked... There aren't that many, but, you know, veneer chips. So there's a few places on the dresser where there's some chipping. But thankfully, I have the veneer that kind of peeled off the top. I can actually use that um, because it is from the original piece uh, to piece it in and fix where the pieces were chipped. And I know how to do that, too. I was I was taught pretty good. Um, so I got those two projects going. And then, and then last, um, I'm getting up early in the morning because here in the San Antonio area, we're like in the hundreds lately. And um, so I'm going to get up at like eight in the morning and I'm going to go outside and detail my car. And when I mean detail my car, it's going to get washed. I'm going to clay bar it and wax it. And then I got the leather cleaner so I can clean the leather um on my seats and uh, my car just needs some love and I, I used to be like 
I washed, I used to wash my car every weekend and I did it. I just don't have time anymore. But I got a stool. So I'm going to do a stool because we know my back is jacked. And y'all know, working on cars, you're bending over. And we know I can't do that anymore. So I have a lot planned for this weekend. And we'll see what actually happens. The car is a definite. The car is definitely happening. Um... I got to call the, the mill tomorrow and see if I can get in tomorrow and then what the cost is. If the cost is like 200 bucks, I'm going to have to wait for next payday <laughs> for that. But also the house, the new batch of house mouse is on the way. So there will be a house mouse um, edition update next week. Uh, it's supposed to be here by Wednesday, but if it happens like last time, it last time it arrived like two days early. So we'll see what happens. Anywho, that's it. Um, thanks for sticking around and let me run my mouth. And um, I'm actually um, going to go to bed now. <laughs> so um, hopefully when y'all are watching this, I am either outside working on my car or... If you're watching this on the Saturday, the day I post it, I'm either outside working on the car or fingers crossed, I might be at the wood mill getting my wood prepped for me to redo the Singer sewing machine table thingamajigger. So, uh, oh, and sorry, the Woodcraft Place, they do classes. So I have decided my husband would never go on his own. So I'm going to sign the two of us up and we're going to go and we're going to, cause he needs, my husband needs some woodworking 101. <laughs> I love him. I love you, honey. Uh, but yeah, he needs some woodworking 101. So I think we're going to go take that. And then there was a, they have a wood turning class with epoxy. So I want to go check that out. They have a whole bunch of classes I want to go take. I, y'all, I'm so excited. I know it's not paper, but it is still crafting. Um, I don't know if you can see that right now. I'm actually watching a wood turning video. I watch them all the time. I love furniture restoration videos and wood turning videos and tool restoration videos. I love any restoration video. So, anywho, I'm going to go. I'm probably talking too much. And, um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Y'all have a good day or a great long weekend if you are off this weekend. I The reason why I'm so um, hopeful is I have a three-day weekend. So that's my plan. My plan is to hopefully get a lot done. All right. Love y'all to pieces. As always, happy crafting. As always, bye-bye.